My focus for this week is on 20th century American theologian John Howard Yoder. In the 1972 book of The Politics of Jesus, Hayes calls it a path-breaking attempt to do Christian ethics in vigorous dialogue with biblical scholarship. He says it has three fundamental theses. Number one, that the New Testament consistently bears witness of Jesus' renunciation of violence and coercive power. Number two, that the example of Jesus is directly relevant and normatively binding for the Christian community. Number three, that faithfulness to the example of Jesus is a political choice, not a withdrawal from the realm of politics. Scholars say that tradition has a portrait of a savior who stands detached from governmental concerns and who calls his disciples to an apolitical life. But such a picture of Jesus is far from accurate, according to John Yoder. Hayes states that Yoder affirms that Jesus is, according to the biblical witness, a model of radical political action. In the reading of Hayes, it is stated that this watershed work in New Testament ethics leads us to a savior who was deeply concerned with the political agenda and the related issues of power, status, and right relations. By researching Luke's gospel, the social justice gospel, Yoda claims convincingly that the true impact of Jesus's life and the ministry on his disciples social behavior points to a specific kind of Christian nonviolence in which the cross of Christ is the model of Christian social efficacy. Yoda states that the cross is not a detour or a hurdle on the way to the kingdom, nor is it even the way to the kingdom. It is the kingdom come. Once we have read Luke's gospel this way, according to Yoder, there can be no avoiding an ethic marked by the cross, a cross identified as the punishment of a man who threatens society by creating a new kind of community, leading a radically new kind of life. In Yoda's view, all interpretations of the gospel story must do justice to the cross as the definitive disclosure of Jesus's mission. And while Yoder gives special attention to the Gospel of Luke in his book, The Politics of Jesus, he does not regard Luke as more important than the other Gospels. The Gospel of Mark more clearly emphasizes the character of Jesus' renunciation of power. Luke only serves to illustrate Yoda's methodology. And while Yoda's central claim in his book is that Jesus rejected violence, he never quotes Matthew 5, 39, which talks about if someone strikes you on the right cheek, turn the other also. The important aspect of Yoda's vision is his emphasis on communal moral process as the means of discerning the will of God. Hayes states that Yoda's hemonetic represents an impressive challenge to the church to remain faithful to its calling of discipleship, modeling its life after the example of Jesus, whom it confesses as Lord. As Christian theologians increasingly are forced to come to grips with the demise of Christendom and to acknowledge their minority status in a pluralistic world, Yoda's vision offers a compelling account of how the New Testament might reshape the life of the church. What do you think of that statement? I find that Yoda's concepts are helpful as his book, The Politics of Jesus, is an excellent resource for the general reader desiring to understand Christ's response to the world of politics and his will for those who would follow him. Thank you.